Tonight, Fun Man teaches you chemistry. He introduces you to new friends, chemistry molecules. He will serenade models, chemistry models. You learn about alkanes. Students will reimagine. Hello students, welcome to this topic on alkanes. The reference is uh, Organic Chemistry with Biological Applications by John McMurray, Chapter 3. Why do we learn organic chemistry, especially for you guys? We know that all of us are made of cells. We are a multicellular organism, complex organisms. And go down to the level of the cell, it's so tiny, and you know that the structure of the cell you know that every cell must have a cell membrane. And what makes up that membrane? You see this long chain of hydrocarbons, these tails? These are organic substances. Your carbon and hydrogen forming covalent bonds, long chains of them, that's hydrophobic. And they come together so that they interact and becomes hydrophobic and selectively allows only certain particles to move through this membrane, regulating the cellular activities. You see here all these skeletal proteins, and proteins are organic substances. Cholesterol as well. You learn about the structure of cholesterol. Integral proteins, peripheral proteins, glycolipids. What are lipids? You see all these hexagon rings. They are all cyclohexane derivative. Your sugars. Glyco means you have glycans, sugars, polysaccharides. So all parts of this revolve about organic chemistry and that's the very reason why we have to study in details. Now these are some examples of molecules that we encounter every day, sometimes even without realizing it. So lipids, number one. Lipids are fats. We have that on the skin of our body, no matter how strong you are, how fit or how skinny. You have to learn what are the natural occurring molecules that's fats. Fats and waxes, sterols, fat soluble vitamins, glycerides, phospholipids, and these are some examples that you can find. Do not memorize them, but I hope that by seeing the structure, you know that they are fats because they contain long chains of hydrocarbons that repels water. These are the fatty vitamins. How do I know they're fatty? I see a lot of carbon without much oxygen, nitrogen or charged particles. They like oil. They like oil because they do not form hydrogen bonding. So the common features for these vitamins listed here is that they contain long chains of hydrocarbon chains. Yeah alkanes, yeah alkenes, and sometimes the alkynes. Now the first homologous series of organic molecules must be alkanes. You have to learn about these parent hydrocarbons. They are the simplest form of the molecules. They are saturated carbon hydrogen single bond. And they come from the sigma overlap between the sp3 hybridized orbital, as we have learned earlier. The general formula for alkanes is Cn H2n plus 2, where n is an integer. Integer means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So if you substitute n equals to 1 here, that's the minimum number that you can do. You get C1H4. So CH4 would mean it's a methane molecule, C carbon 1, 4 hydrogen. And when you substitute 2 inside there, you have ethane. 3, you have propane, butane, and so on. So alkanes are also called aliphatic compounds. It has a long history. It comes from a Greek word aliphas, means fats, aliphats. And as you learn science, chemistry, the names has evolved from prehistorical ages. Like alkanes are also sometimes known as paraffins. If you go to America, they like to call them paraffins, not alkanes. So paraffin comes from the Latin parum affinis, which means little affinity. Some of you may have learned some Latin in the past because of your school. Ora elabora, auspicium melioris ivy. 
uh, don't come from those schools. So this is the structure of a typical animal fat, long chain, you see this ester linkage. This came from a glycerol with long fatty acids, so they form triglyceride, tri means three, glyceride meaning you have ester, three esters bound here. Now you notice that all of them represent the same molecule but the drawing is a bit different and you will need to know how to interconvert them and look at them the same way. So you see a look at these alkanes here in the first row, they are called straight alkanes, normal or N alkanes. So they are called straight chain alkanes because you can connect all the carbon in the molecule using one line without breaking off. So they are called N alkanes and the N stands for normal. This row here, you see examples of branch alkanes. Branch means you cannot use one line, you know, when you draw a piece of paper, you draw one line connecting all the carbon, you miss up some of them. It shows that they are branched, branching, like Michelle. So there are a few ways of drawing, let's say NC4H10, your normal butane, straight chain. Number one is with all bonds drawn, there's very simple, carbon come from group four, so four lines emerging out, hydrogen one bond, so you see it's all good there. Right, straight chain like that or band which is supposed to be that way, tetrahedral. Second way is to show CC bonds only without showing the CH bonds. This is also fine. And next, no bonds shown because we know that carbon must connect to the carbon. Hydrogen are just the cap that seals off the end. And the fourth will be the line structure. And this is the one that we prefer in this module and it's the most convenient, save you time, save us time, it's beautiful. And here we do not show any hydrogen atoms because we know that all these junctions represent a carbon so one two three four carbons next term you have to know here is called isomer iso means same it comes from greek greek word isos meros it translates to made of the same parts so isomers are defined as compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structure, different molecular formula. So you see C4H10, we could draw it the same way, the straight chain alkane and butane, or we can have a 2-methylpropane. For C5H10, we have more ways of drawing that. And if you see the number of alkane isomers, that it will increase as the n number of the alkane formula increase, and there is no formula to account for that. You just have to try it. Try until that you can't get another form of isomer. So see, a good way of testing you something in exam would be just one question in the final paper, two hours. Draw as many isomers of the alkane C30 H62 using line structure in two hours. And name them. Now how do we name straight chain alkanes? Super important we first look at the number of carbon atoms that's inside the body. Next, we also name them based on the Greek numbers, except those in red boxes. So see here, one carbon will be mat, two, at, three is prop, boot is four, pent is five, six is hex, you see, hep is seven. All these are your Latin ordinals, right? It goes down to oct, eight, nine is known, dec is 10, undec, Un means 1, 1 plus 10 is 11, do means 2, 2 plus 10 is 12, so tridec means 3 plus 10 is 13, and so on and so forth. Well, you have to learn until 13 in your syllabus. We end with the suffix ain because it represents your alkane family. So we connect them together, like hep, 7 carbon, ain, heptane.